Of all the Cobra Kai characters they could have improved on, who would have thought that the dude who once sold Johnny's glass wall and is basically the most likely to use Reddit would be one of the best characters that the series has made so far? Before we get into how Season 5 saved him, let's look at what he was going through from Seasons 2 to 4. Even though Stingray's cameos are very short-lived, we do get a lot of information every time we see him. Stingray, or also known as Raymond, was just a dude who lived with his mom who had a lot of cash to burn. He thought he could basically change his life with karate like the other kids, but the only difference is, is that he's a legit grown man, and has a job, and should be on his own at this point. Like, imagine Hawk, but just as a 30 plus year old man. And it's clear that Stingray was the type to never really grow up. But we do see him being determined, being the only person to raise his hand to try and fight Miguel, and then he'd go on to win the battle at Coyote Creek. And he'd even help out the Cobras in beating up Miyagi-Do fighter during the school fight. Even though technically this is illegal, it's funny seeing children get uppercutted by Stingray. And funny enough, I think Stingray is the only person to actually beat up some Miyagi-Dos and actually get a couple W's off on them, in contrast to all of the top tier Cobras who tried fighting the top tier Miyagi-Do students. Now he'd go under house arrest after the school fight, which is why we don't see him in season 3, but we would actually see what he's been up to in season 4. Which, after house arrest, he tries to go back, but Kreese bans him from coming back, and after attempting to get reinstated, this is when he'd catch Terry at his lowest and he'd simply be his punching bag. Now, honestly, even during these two moments where Stingray is trying to make a stand for himself, I can genuinely respect him. For one, not only is he trying to get back the one thing that he found a passion in, everyone probably thought Stingray was funny or didn't think of him too seriously, but karate really did define him. And when Kreese took that away, he was like, nah, I can't have this happen, and he even went up to Terry. The fact that he even had the courage to go up a second time, when characters like Dimitri would never even try and attempt to interact with Kreese again, is crazy to see. What I love about this show is how Season 5 makes a lot of our characters just evolve maturely, and Stingray is no exception to this. And we see Season 5 start off with him just being Terry's little goon right now because he can't say anything, so he's just going to be getting all this nice stuff, got Johnny's old car, broke a PlayStation but then got a new one, like he's living life right now. However, he's living it like a coward. This was something that he was never taught when he was in Cobra Kai, and the fact that he's constantly lying to save his own skin and just being paranoid about everything, it really goes to show what kind of position Terry put him in. And in Season 4, we see his neighbor try to talk some sense into Stingray, but realistically, the neighbor isn't even wrong. Bro is Stingray, he has not showered in weeks, he's established to be a loser, and he's like 40 years old. He's a grown man, bro, like, what are you doing, bro? Go get a job at Best Buy, bro. Go apply at Walmart or something, bro, like, what are you doing, bro? But at least in Season four he knows that he is a loser like he is aware of it but unironically this dojo has given him the best opportunity ever where he could be himself and feel like a kid and now he gets what he wants but it almost costs him his own life and so it's really bittersweet to see him ball out when deep down he knows he can't say or do anything about what happened he's living his best life but technically he's living his worst nightmare because all stingray ever wanted was to show that he had a little bit of confidence but that confidence has been completely shattered with Terry's punches. And we see in Season 5, Danny and Chosen try interrogating him, but fail. And this is mainly due to Danny being unhinged and scaring Stingray, and Terry also buying him out. However, when being confronted by the kids, he sees just how bad Terry's made things, and decides to actually make a stand for himself. I feel like it's honestly really great how the kids were the ones to convince him rather than the adults, even though Stingray is an adult himself. Just because of the fact of how much he looked up to these kids. He was probably never like them when he was younger, and the fact that these kids are so strong on their own at a, such a young age probably inspires him to do more. I mean, we legit see him say that he wants to be like Hawk. Like, with Hawk, it's like, okay, he's been bullied, he's flipping the script, now he's making a difference for himself. But when we see Raymond do it, he looks like such a loser. In Season 2, we see Raymond transform into Stingray, but was glossed over because he was a man-child. However, in my opinion, Season 4 showed not only how desperate he was to gain a reputation, but in Season 5, we see him managing to throw throw away this reputation in order to do the right thing and grow as a person, and unironically this is when he truly finds himself. I love character arcs like this where it seems like a character is losing something but rather is gaining more than what he originally had. Not only did season 5 give the funniest character a genuine character arc, but weirdly gave him the right to earn the name Stingray. And just like in season 2, we see him helping his buddies out but only now technically fighting against the one thing he wanted. 
I don't know how Cobra Kai does it, but through tiny details and genuinely putting care into the characters they make, they somehow make the most one-note characters have layers to them and make them feel like real people. Need I say more? <laughs> All of the 